Bioluminescence and Marine Life. Have you ever wondered how Pixar came up with the idea for their hideous anglerfish in Finding Nemo? If so, then it probably wouldn't do you any good to know that that little guy is real, along with a multitude of marine organisms that utilize bioluminescence. But how do they manage this trait? Why does it occur? And could it do more? The process of bioluminescence is all about energy. Most organisms acquire or consume energy as food, and then release that chemical energy to be transformed into body heat. Bioluminescent organisms are a little different. That chemical energy can also be released to create light. Marine bioluminescent organisms contain two unique compounds called luciferin vargula and luciferase enzyme. When luciferin and luciferase are combined in the presence of oxygen and ATP, a chemical reaction occurs. This chemical reaction forms light. So how can bioluminescence be used? Some organisms use it to attract prey, setting off fantastic light displays, such as the viperfish, which uses its bioluminescent skin pocket, called the esca, as a lure. Others use it for protection from larger predators, such as the shrimp, which are capable of spewing their luciferin and luciferase into the water in front of their predator to blind them. Almost all marine organisms can use bioluminescence to communicate with others of their species. In the ocean, you will often see blue bioluminescence occur. That is because... The organisms in the sea have evolved to use mainly blue, which is the color that travels the farthest through water. This way, they are able to communicate over long distances, which makes it much easier for species to find mates in the vast space they call home. This amazing biological phenomenon has long been the fascination of many scientists, but could we actually use it to improve life above the waves? Scientists at MIT have been hard at work with a project studying the plant nanobionics. Their quest to make plants glow in the dark is finally yielding results by isolating the process of bioluminescence and its components such as luciferin and luciferase. The scientists at MIT were able to embed nanoparticles into a watercress plant's DNA, which caused it to give off a dim glow for three hours before going dark. Their mission? To bioengineer plants that could give off enough light to power a workspace, or even with enough of them, an entire street. The goal is to ultimately replace electrical light, as it is an enormous waste of energy, while it is also not very sustainable. With these bioengineered trees, the light is purely provided by the energy metabolism of the plant, while it continues its regular functions of retrieving CO2 from the air, which is just another reason it's better than a light bulb. From that tiny jellyfish or shrimp to the labs at MIT, bioluminescence continues to astonish and improve the lives of organisms above and below the waves. But you don't need to be a deep sea explorer to witness bioluminescence. So the next time a warm summer night rolls around and the fireflies show up, wander out and watch the light show just in your backyard. I swear you won't be disappointed.